Everybody has to make choices, and those choices will lead to a result. Even not making a choice is also a choice, and it will also lead to a relevant result. And all those choices, the small and the big, will determine the course of our lives. And will also determine whether it will be success or failure, happiness or misery, pain or joy. Normally we try hard to choose what is in our best interest, but we don't always succeed. Many times our intuition would be manipulated and our perception would be distorted and that leads us to make unconscious choices that lead to undesired results. This manipulated intuition and distorted perception can emerge for many reasons. I won't speak now about the obvious, like drugs and too much alcohol. I'll speak now about the most frequent two cases. First, this is the misleading control of the family and the close social environment. Our parents, those are the first adults that we meet. So as kids, we take them seriously. We take them as an ideal that inspires our behavior on all aspects of life personal, social, financial, professional, and gradually our blind and unconscious imitation to the parents will take over all our actions and habits and beliefs and all that regardless of their actual achievements. So, for example, the father can be unsuccessful financially and socially, yet the unconscious child wouldn't question his father's qualification, but instead he would anyway follow him in running his finances and relationships and many times he would be even designed to be proud of his way the son might have studied business and finance yet there will be an inner blockage that is outside the mastery of his professional expertise and that blockage would prevent him from achieving his goals and when we address the issue of the family and its influence, there will be too much pride or too much guilt or too much shame to face it. On the other hand, there are some successful families, and I don't speak about narcissistic families that parasite on society's resources as a result of nepotism or corrupt sponsorships. I speak here only about families which appreciate life and appreciate working ethics. In those families, the kids imitate even the small details of the successful parents' behavior and therefore achieve success. While the successful one developed by imitation the necessary tools and the necessary intuition for building a socially and financially rich life, the other one develops also by imitation an intuition that leads to failure even when he chooses success. And that's why we call it distorted or manipulated. And this manipulated intuition would negatively take over his life and lead him repeatedly to undesired results, even if he studied at university and even if he made a degree. We all know those people who win the lottery or those who take a big loan from the bank and lose all that money in two years. That's because they didn't inherit a successful mindset. Those are just superficial examples, but everybody can find many, many similar examples in his personal life. That's important to see closely the effect of social environment and its domination over the individual's mind to lead him to happiness or to misery. And many times the individual can waste all his life looking for alternatives while unconsciously repeating the same actions that lead to the same results because he or she fell victim to their distorted perception and manipulated intuition. Now I know that many times it's so difficult to accept that but first step to gain back a healthy intuition is proportionate perception is seeing the truth and the proportionate reflection of reality not through wishful thinking or social thinking or pride or fear or concepts like I spoke in the previous video. So first step is admitting one's ignorance because becoming aware of the distorted perception and admitting one's manipulated intuition 
is a condition to change that. For most people, this would be a huge obstacle. But after that, we would be in a state of openness that would show us the way to look for alternatives. This is a healthy state, but here we need to be careful not to fall in the second trap. The first was social environment and family. The second would be public relations and advertising. And I don't mean only in business. The same ideas and the same concepts apply also to aspects of life. For example, you wanted to learn yoga, you found an attractive flyer and a fascinating website of a yoga teacher. Now, the design of the website and the flyer don't mean nothing. What the flyer and the website say about the yoga teacher don't mean anything. If you don't get hypnotized by the good design and by the sweet description, if you make a proper research of who you're going to allow in to inspire you, then you might avoid this trap. Many psychologists that I know have destructive relationships. Many financial consultants still live in their mom's basements. Many artists don't have the knowledge nor the experience. Their art is superficial or empty or toxic, yet they lead society's institutes because they are the children of a politician or an artistic director or some theater's manager, but they'd never tell the truth behind their false image. And therefore, people look up to them, wishing to get close to them, to have some of their spoils. I'm saying all this just to remind to be careful choosing our sources of inspiration, because unlike the parents, here we can't imitate everything. We might imitate only the external aspects, but we would never be able to have the invisible aspects of their natural gifts, like a rich father, or a wealthy husband, or an influential family. This we can't imitate. And this is the only cause of their success. Many of those nepotistic successful people would be living normally in fear and in anxieties because of their compulsive deep denial and wishful thinking patterns. And it will be very, very difficult to get rid of those fears and anxieties without a radical action taken. Anyway, if we are so intelligent not to fall in the second trap from here, we need only to stay consistent in seeking inspiration. Growth is a lifetime journey. Stay on track. I'm Shredi Jabarin. Thank you so much for watching.